In Bengal, Prime Minister Narendra Modi gave the second highest number of rallies and speeches, making promises to the poor of the state. Yet, the people of Bengal didn't fall for the BJP's empty and false promises. And by the people's mandate, Trinamool Congress was re-elected again in the 2021 West Bengal legislative election. Little did the deprived of Bengal know that they will become fodder for BJP's important anti-Bengal vendetta. As the Modi government's response to losing Bengal was to declare war against the deprived of the state. The BJP resorted to choking the lifeline of the rural economy by withholding rupees 6,907 crore allocated under the Manrega scheme, and this has continued for over two years. Nearly 2.5 crore job card holders of Bengal have been deprived of employment, and over 17 lakh households have not been paid and continue to suffer over alleged discrepancies. Despite the centre's wheel dig at Bengal and its people, our leaders proceeded to comply with their norms, only concerned for the release of their rightful views. Sixteen central teams visited Bengal, yet nothing fruitful was established. Many letters were written by Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee to Prime Minister Modi regarding the non-payment of central funds, but her prayer fell on deaf ears. Last year, the state's delegation sought an appointment with the Union Minister of Panchayati Raj and Rural Development, Giriraj Singh. Being present in his office, he had refused to meet him. Again, in October 2023, under guidance of Sri Abhishek Banerjee, another delegation of PMC MPs and the victim families had gone to Krishi Bhavan to initially meet Giriraj Singh, where again he had bypassed meeting with our delegation and Minister of State Sadhvi Niranjan Jyoti was scheduled to meet Trinamool Congress leaders. But she too absconded from her office, leaving our leaders at the mercy of the police. Trinamool Congress leaders were manhandled and brutally attacked by the Delicates in a brazen act of defiance against their constitutional rights. But that didn't phase our leaders as they continued to fight for Bengal's deprived, this time at Rajput. The people of Bengal still await the release of their rightful views.